Well, hey, so it is another hot day in Cairo. I'm getting really used to just being hot all the time. But uh, I am here now at the Egyptian Museum, and this is where all the stuff with that was inside the pyramids that they got back, because there are a bunch of thieves that you know took a bunch of stuff uh, during revolutions. But they're supposed to have just some amazing stuff here, and uh, it's a little extra money to get to inside to see the mummies. But I know for a fact that there is no photography allowed inside so i'll see mummies today but uh you will not and then uh after i get done here i'll be heading to another spot a little bit ways outside of town to uh go to what is called the cave church uh so i think you guys can imagine what the cave church is and then uh my airbnb host told me to hike up above the cave church for sunset so that's the plan for the day uh glad you guys are along
So I said I'd be going to the cave church, which is like St. Simon's uh, Monastery. Uh, it's a church that's literally carved into a mountain. Well, my Uber driver didn't speak English and I don't speak Arabic, so there's a bit of a mix up. Uh, but he brought me to where I wanted to do sunset, which kind of works out because it was getting a little late. And if I would have done the cave church, I may have missed sunset. So we're going to try and do everything in reverse now. Um, hopefully I can get a great sunset shot up here for y'all. And then we'll go do the cave church. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's still going to be open, but if it is, I think it would be kind of cool to see it at night. Uh, hopefully it's all lit up really cool. Uh, but yeah, um, in case I don't make it, there are some facts about it. Uh, it seats about 20,000 people and about 70,000 people uh, a week go there to worship. So should be pretty cool. But uh, this is where I'm going to be hanging out and watching sunset. So I think I'll uh, you know, grab a hookah, get a little tea, and uh, sunset's in about an hour. So hopefully it's going to... Uh, go pretty quick and then I'll get down to the cave church. I hope I get to see it, but uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll see. So I made it here. This was no easy feat getting here. My Uber driver had to go through like lanes just as wide as the car. Uh, it's amazing though. Uh, it's not like as lit up as I thought it would be, but I walked it on choir practice. So I'm just gonna kind of take it all in, sit here for a little while, and uh, yeah, very cool though. Very cool. What a great day, y'all. So I got to see mummies. None of them came alive and tried to kill me, so that was cool. Uh, you know, that amazing sunset at the Corniche. It looked like the sky was almost like on fire. Uh, very cool, and seeing a church carved out of all rock and sitting in for a little bit at uh, choir practice, very cool. It is my last day in Cairo, uh, so glad I got to do all that, kind of soak up everything that Cairo had to offer, but. It is time to get into Africa. Uh, I am moving through Africa for the next few months on this trip, so I've got to do a little bit of work, pack up, and get to the airport, because uh, my flight is super early in the morning. I think it's at 2 a.m., so no sleep for the weary. Keep on moving, but uh, keep following along, you guys. Smash that subscribe button, and we'll have some adventures in Africa.